today we are solving uh, this problem sort test palindrome so uh, one string is given to us and uh, uh, we have to find that uh, what could be the shortest palindrome if we append uh, uh, we are free to append something at the front of it at the start of it we can add some characters but we have to add those characters so that we get the minimum number of characters we should add and uh, so for example we can see in this example existing one see here this is our string right so uh, if we append one a at the front side this is completely becoming a palindrome right because so far it was see here one a was missing so if we add one more a here we are directly getting this as a palindrome okay similarly uh, if we don't have anything matching see here a b c d so in this case what is happening uh, we don't have any uh, already existing palindromic prefix right so in this case what we are doing uh, we have to add this entire reverse this stuff right like this d c b and a b c d so this would be our smallest possibility to make it palindromic okay so uh, this is what we have to do now we will go what would be the intuition of our uh, uh, solution so one more thing is guys if if the string is already a palindrome something like this a b a now this is already palindrome so we don't have to do any operation here we can uh, return directly to the string itself so now we have to find that what would be our approach here okay so let's take the one example given in the question so guys my approach would be like oh let's go ahead here with this string so if i somehow find a prefix okay if i found a prefix in this uh, string the original string such that this, this prefix is also a palindrome then what can i do here for example in this case if we look at here we start from here from very first till the second last character okay so uh, we can clearly see here that this is a palindrome let me split it down here so we are starting from here okay so this is a another one is a then we have c then we have e this is also a prefix then we have again c this is also a prefix then we have again a this is also a prefix this is also a prefix but at till this point this is actually becoming a palindrome see here this is our middle point and left side and right side are equal so we found one prefix which is actually a palindrome right so this is our palindrome part of prefix and what is the remaining part remaining part is only this a right so now we can split our string in such a way that the uh, the prefix of that uh, substring which is also a uh, uh, palindrome plus whatever the remaining part now guys if i reverse this remaining part and append at the front of it we will get our answer okay so let's say if i do it now we will reverse this so anyway this is a favorite case we have only one character we will take a better example so now if we reverse this is a single character so reversal also would be same so what we will do is we will reverse the remaining part okay we will just reverse whatever remaining part we are getting so let's say i am calling it remaining part as n adds r plus whatever palindromic prefix be found so we can call it prefix okay so prefix so this would be our approach that first we find the uh, uh, so sorry here one thing is so now we have two parts of it right prefix part which is palindrome plus remaining substring now what if i reverse this remaining substring like this reverse of the remaining substring and add it at the front of my original string this is our original string right so what it would be happening this is our a so we will add a plus this entire string a a c c a a right a a c e c a c e c a and then a a 
सो नाउ यू कैन चेक दिस इज अवर पेलिंड्रोमिक स्मॉलेस्ट पेलिंड्रोमिक स्ट्रिंग विच वी हैव जस्ट अकर्ड सो अवर अप्रोच वुड बी फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड द प्रीफिक्स विच इज ए पेलिंड्रोम एंड देन रिमेनिंग सब स्ट्रिंग वट एवर वी हैव रिमेनिंग सब स्ट्रिंग वी विल डू द रिवर्स ऑफ इट सो आई टेल यू वाई टू रिवर्स इट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स लेट्स एड सम मोर वैल्यूज हेयर लेट्स ए इट हैज ए बी एज वेल ओके सो नाउ वॉट वुड हैपन वी वुड राइट दिस लाइक दिस रिमेनिंग वुड बी लाइक दिस राइट ए बी करेक्ट सो वॉट वुड बी द रिवर्स ऑफ इट द रिवर्स ऑफ इट वुड बी बी ए प्लस वॉट एवर द ऑरिजिनल स्ट्रिंग देन ओनली इट वुड बिकम द थिंग सो सी हेयर वी वुड हैव एड हेयर बी ए इफ दिस वर्ड द ऑरिजिनल स्ट्रिंग लाइक दिस right so so far it was original and till here it was the palindromic in the original one and this is our reverse one so whatever uh, whatever the remaining one we reversed it and append at the front of the original value so this is what our approach is now uh, i will tell you that uh, what would be the approach there could be like multiple approaches to solve this we can use the Uh, certain algorithms like uh, mensur algorithm we have uh, kmp algorithm so any pattern matching algorithm we can use but actually i am going here with the uh, hashing rolling hash uh, algorithm why i am going with rolling hash algorithm there is nothing wrong we can go with other algorithms as well but knowing of rolling hash go hashing algorithm might help us not only to solve such kind of dsa problems but it will also help us in the interview questions so in the design round for example in microsoft and google they ask the question like design a control f functionality okay so they are similar idea we use we have to use the hashing based uh, algorithms we just cannot go the comparison with character by character right so those scenarios this would be directly helpful for us so for that reason i would be call this would be a double benefit to use the rolling hashing algorithm now i would be explaining how does it work so guys as we know the hashing algorithms should be unique right whatever thing is is given it should produce a unique thing for the different uh, inputs and it should produce the same output for the same inputs right so to get this kind of hashing algorithm we usually use the certain prime numbers and we do the mod and all so that we will find the unique numbers for every or uh, new input okay every different input we should get a different output so this assumption is clear for all the hashing algorithms right so same idea will also go for the rolling hash algorithm why we are calling it rolling hash algorithm because it will go to backward as well as uh, 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 rightwards right so uh, why i am calling it rolling hash word it would be having the two uh, variables which are carrying the hash uh, uh, values okay so those two values would be uh, forward hashing and the reverse hashing okay so let's call them uh, some variables like forward hashing i'm calling is fh okay and reverse hashing i'm calling is uh, R, rh okay now uh, now we have to calculate these forward hashing and uh, reverse hashing so how would we do that is like first of all we will traverse through the whatever input string we have but let me explain what would be the way of calculating the hash of everything so for example we have this uh, for uh, forward hash and reverse hash initially both of them has value 0 we are taking one base with the 31 prime number and we are taking just uh, one mod uh, value with which we will do the modulus which could be like 1e9 plus 7 right so i am making it uh, 1e9 plus 7 so 1e9 means uh, like uh, 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 there would be nine zeros in front of one right so this would be mod thing now see what we are doing here is we are traversing through this uh, original string right so first of all we are getting the character of it now this is the way of getting the forward hashing at every character so we are doing this fh into base so base is our like 31 here okay so fh into base plus whatever would be the numeric value of this character which is like whatever character minus a like for a it would be 0 so 0 plus 1 we are doing right so for a it would be one value okay for b it would be two for c it would be three because we are adding one now with this we are making the mod of it 1e9 so that it wouldn't go to very long values very huge values right so we got this fh 
similarly this is for forward hashing right right and this is for uh, uh, reverse hashing so reverse hashing logic is whatever rs which is initially zero to so rs plus character value into the power so power i have initially power equal to one this power would be the power of our base right so initially it is 31 right so our power would be one here and then we are making the modulus of it and for every next value we are basically updating this value power so power into base mod okay modulus of it now uh, you guys might have a question that how can you blindly say that this would be work right there must be certain surety that uh, uh, this would be uh, forward hashing this would be reverse hashing so if you observe uh, carefully you can uh, find it you can find it that for every next iteration we are giving the updated power here the power of our base right we are giving it updated value right and we are passing it for the next character okay and also see here we are doing this uh, fh into base like 31 and then its uh, character value and at uh, our reverse uh, hash what we are doing is we are multiplying this value with the power okay whatever power we had and then updating the power every time for the next means the things would be go in an incremental way okay so whenever we are getting fh equal to rh okay at whatever index so at whatever index we are finding fx equal to rx this index would be indicate that at that particular index in in this case at this index at this index we would be found the this equality then we can say that at this index till this index from the start it is a palindromic prefix okay so this is the way to find the palindromic prefix once we will find this index then we can easily get the substring of it and we can easily get the uh, remaining part of substring now what we will do is like in this case uh, we did already that we found this part and we found the remaining part what we will do is with the remaining part we reverse it and append it to the front of the original string so this way we can find our uh, 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 this prefix palindromic index okay now you can let's say we can uh, also make sure that how does it work let's say take it as small string a b a okay so call calculate the rh uh, and fh both so let's start with the a right so fh what would be the value of fh fh would be um, here so initially it is zero right so from here it would produce zero plus uh, this is our a so a minus a so this would be one so this will give us one right now calculate to rh reverse has of the same character so reverse has this rh is zero and this is uh, one so one into power is also one and mod one so this is also giving us one so see here in itself a is a what a a is basically a palindromic because rh and uh, fh are same so we have this uh, b a is our remaining string right correct so what we will do is now we will uh, uh, we will still go ahead because we are looking for the greatest uh, palindromic of the string right so we will still proceed ahead so we will come to this b then we have to again calculate fh and rh so what would be the fh in new build so fh has right now it is one value only so see here one into base right and our power now when we will came out from the first thing our power basically become power into base so currently power value power value is, is equal to uh, what it would be power is a power into base which would be like uh, 31 in this case right so right now our power is 31 initially it was 1 okay so now we will go to this iteration so we are done for a we will go for b so what it would be fs is 1 so 1 into base is 31 so 31 and uh, this uh, next character is b so it would be producing 2 okay so this would be 31 this part would be giving me 31 this part would be giving me 2 so 31 plus 2 so it would be 33 now we'll go to rh reverse hashing okay so go for reverse hashing here uh, so reverse hashing this is 1 so we'll write it 1 plus this would be our 2 so 2 into 
पॉवर इज राइट नाउ वॉट पॉवर इज थर्टी वन सो टू इंटू थर्टी वन सो दिस विल गिव मी थर्टी वन इंटू टू सिक्सटी टू प्लस वन सो इट इज गिविंग मी सिक्सटी थ्री ओके सो सी हेयर फॉर ए बी इट इज गिविंग द डिफरेंट बिकॉज दिस एफ एच इज थर्टी थ्री एंड अवर आर एच इज सिक्सटी थ्री बिकॉज एनी वे दिस इज नॉट ए पेलिंड्रोमिक प्रीफिक्स नाउ वी विल कम टू दिस गाय एट ए and also let's update our power so power is equal to power into uh, base so base is uh, basically our uh, this thing 31 so it would be 31 into 31 so new value would be 31 uh, square okay now we will calculate for a so i'm calculating now for this a right so fh fh into base so uh, fh is 33 so 33 into 31 plus what is this this would be a minus a plus 1 so this would be 1 only right and similarly i will call, call, go for rh so rh would be what rh would be uh, this thing uh, we have already rh equal to 63 right so 63 plus uh, this thing uh, this would be ch minus a so this will give me 1 only so 1 into what is the current power current power is the 30 Three. Uh, this is thirty one into thirty one, right? So thirty one into thirty one. Now we will look what would be the final value. So this is giving me one zero two four, and this also giving me one zero two four. I just use calculator. I just cannot do all thirty one into all those things, right? So you guys can confirm it. So see here. A B A. So at A we are getting the same or uh, same hash value for forward as well as for reverse. So now we can say that A this index is the our uh, uh, greatest index where our string is giving me uh, the prefix as a palindrome, right? So this algorithm based we are doing the solution. Let me show you quickly my code. So see here these are the all those values which we just discussed. Okay, we can put twenty nine, thirty one, thirty seven as well, right? So, and this is my mod. So these are the values which we initial initially f h and r h equal to zero. Now see here, I am traversing through it and I am checking. So here we will get the index. So we are not breaking. So we are not just stopping when we got the first uh, uh, prefix, uh, which is palindrome. We are also going ahead to get the greatest one. That is why we are not breaking the for loop. so that we will get the greatest because even in case of aba right if we go here a is also a palindrome but we are not stopping here we are still going that there might be some bigger uh, uh, some bigger palindromic uh, prefix right so for that reason we will go so till here let let's say it was a b a d right so a b a would be the biggest prefix which we are getting here okay so after getting this index what we are doing we are looking for the remaining uh, right side of the substring which is other than the prefix so this is uh, what that uh, substring of index plus 1 right from the next character on what that would be our remaining substring now what i am doing here i just reverse this i am reversing this substring okay now after re reversing this remaining substring i am appending it okay at the front of whatever our original string and i am returning it converting into the string so this is what i am doing let me execute the code so i am executing my code yeah it is running fine let me try to submit it yeah it is 87% faster so thank you for watching this video and if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there thank you